Welcome to Random Thoughts, Ray Sean Blyden here. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe. I'm not one who trusts TikTok. In fact, you've heard my song if you listen to my music. I'm not a TikToker, but I did. I, I talked about this before. Basically, my boss talked me into signing up, so I signed up on the conserv conservative Ray Dog, if you want to follow me there, conservative R-E-H-D-O-G-G. -G. But I uh, never trusted them. But I also, guess who else I don't trust? The DOJ, who's reporting this. So I don't trust them either. So who do you believe? CCP linked TikTok collected data of American users' political views, DOJ says. The Department of Justice alleged on Friday that TikTok and its Chinese parent company collected sensitive data from the American users according to the court filings. The DOJ alleged in the court filings that TikTok had been collecting Americans' user data on their views regarding sensitive topics like abortion, gun control, and religion, arguing that the app poses a potential threat to the U.S. national security. Now, you know, I'm cynical, cynical, or call me cynical if you want, but I just think that it's hard to believe them because Trump is so popular on there. He's got billions. I don't even know. I follow him on there now, too. I haven't looked at his comment, but he is like making a killing on TikTok. And um, who knows if they don't want to shut it down just because of that. Like how they got him kicked off of Twitter with before, so they want him gone here. It's just my, call it a conspiracy theory if you want. But I just don't trust the DOJ either. In, in fact, you might say I trust them less than, than uh, TikTok. So uh, let's continue. Where was I? I got myself lost there. So they did a court filing that TikTok has been collecting the American data on the views I told you about just now. And it's a threat to national security. The DOJ's latest filing follow a federal lawsuit TikTok filed in May after President Joe Biden signed legislation that they had to give the app's Chinese parent company ByteDance, they had to give it, give the app's Chinese parent company, that doesn't, I don't know what that means, ByteDance until oh, January of 2025 to formally divest. So they want, basically, essentially they want them to break up or else they're going to ban them in the U.S. I am banned in the U.S.A. I am banned in the U.S.A. I am TikTok argued that the law which required either a sale or a ban of the popular app is a free speech violation for 170 million people, American users, according to a statement in an ex post on Saturday. The U.S. Intelligence Committee assesses that ByteDance and TikTok pose a potential threat to U.S. national security because they could be used by the People's Republic of China against the United States in two principal ways. The most recent filing reads, malign foreign influence targeting U.S. persons and collecting of sensitive data of U.S. persons. The DOJ alleged in their most recent filing that TikTok and ByteDance allowed the employees to use software tools that allowed the app to collect user information and to censor certain content at the discretion of the Chinese-owned parent company. Well, that, now that I agree with, because I put an ad out. I mean, I did a short, or they don't call it, what do they call it on TikTok? A, a story or whatever you want to call it about the shooter 
and they instantly blocked it. I mean, they restored. It. Let me see where's my phone. They they restored it because I fought back, and and but by then it killed my momentum. Let's see if I could find it here. Uh, turn the volume down. Let's see if it's in my inbox still. It might not be here. It's probably gone. Yeah, it's probably not here. Let me see. Wait, maybe it is. Let's see. Um, da, 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 da. there's so many things here. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I got too much, too much content already. Yeah, I'm not gonna search through all this. But anyway, they they said it was I was spreading misinformation, and so I, I pretty much clapped back and said, "Here's the source, you idiot deuces. Now restore." I wasn't nice about it. I didn't curse, obviously, uh, but I wasn't nice either. And they restored it. Um, so I could I could agree with that part. They definitely will censor certain things they don't want. You know, like how Twitter used to be. And, uh, and arguably still YouTube. Who knows if I'm not shadow banned? Who knows? But one of those tools allowed ByteDance and TikTok employees in the United States and China to collect bulk user information based on the user's content or expressions, including views on gun control, abortion, and religion, the final reads. Another tool contained policies that allowed both for collection, the collection of bulk users' information and as well as triggering suppressing content so the bottom line is i don't trust dozj but i also don't trust tiktok either so who do you think is lying here I, i'm curious to know your thoughts on that are, are the doj lying is tiktok lying or both i mean if i had to vote i would vote for both i just don't trust both of them i don't trust any of them i really don't but it could be a move to stop Trump momentum because he's he's got billions on there of, of, of followers. I believe it's billions. Or it's gotta be it's very high. Even me, I don't really look at let's see. Maybe I could see. I don't know if I don't know how TikTok works. Like if I look up him, if they'll show me what uh how many people he have followed him. I have no idea how it works. Let me click let me click on a random person. Let's see if it tells you. I don't think it, I'm not that versed in TikTok. Let's see, actually, yeah, it does. So let me see if I can find him. Let's see. Let's see, where is President Trump? Let's see. Trump TikTok. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so, well, he got 9.3 million followers. On here. So that's quite a bit. Kamala, apparently she's doing good, but not, not even close. But anyway, that's all I got. Leave a like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Random thoughts. Politics.